Secretary Sun Sun said if public servants took on the role as returning officers, it will ease the election process. The returning officers or election officials, especially returning officers and assistant uh, returning officers, um, we are suggesting that this, these people should be public servants appointed by the IDEP. And these people must sign you know, out of office for the period of the elections. <coughs> So any of these uh, officials or public servants found to be in breach of um, the out of office, including non-compliance to uh, the general orders, they should be treated in, they should be disciplined under the general orders accordingly. She also stressed on public servants' involvement in elections. She says public servants must resign 12 months prior to them contesting in the elections. But the first change was on, uh, you know, resignation, public servants, servants to resign uh, 12 months in advance, 12 months prior to the issue of rates. So, so this uh, particular amendment will come into effect uh, in the next uh, election, 2027. So public servants are expected to resign at least in 2026. I think uh, this change was made in order to see um, who in the public service is going to stand for elections. Samsung said if a public servant wants to return to work after contesting the elections, they must come back after five years. Also, the public servants who contested uh, the elections and lost the elections, um, they, they can come back after five years. So, so that law was passed, so it's, it's, it's a current law. Um, like, like Cynthia Maku, National MTV News.